right, Dr. Jennifer Riria, all the way from Kenya. She is the group CEO of Kenya Women Holding to kindly share her life and times with us. My sister, Dr. Aurora, women leaders of the world, I'm humbled tonight, this afternoon. I'm really humbled to stand here and receive an award. It's not about me. 27 years ago, young, bold, and careless, I left a very responsible job with the UN and joined to lead the women. The dream was that every woman in Kenya will wake up one day and she is able to put bread on the table for her children. Born out, of, born out of experience from a very poor background, I needed women not to be beaten anymore. I needed a woman to say, I will go to hospital and she, she will be able to, to get to the doctor. I needed a woman to say, I'm paying school fees for my daughter, and they were able to do it. I began Kenya Women Holding, which is now the largest microfinance um, bank, working through women for families in Africa, south of the Sahara. I began with minus two million in uncollectable debts. I began in an environment that the banks said women should Jennifer, do you want women with their baskets on their backs to crown my counters? <laughs> and I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at an institution that operates in 45 counties out of 47. We began with the minus two million in uncollectable debts. You are looking at an institution that has four billion behind our back. Banks are running looking for women because from reducing them to known entities, they now know women are bankable, they are credible, and they hold the economies in their hands. Where would you be in an economy without women? We began with providing three, three dollars for a loan for a woman. Today in this in this, in, this, in this audience, I have Lucy, who is a manufacturer and who is, who is a farmer, and she's here with us today for testimony. You can talk to her. On the education side, we have Professor here on Guno, who is also a mentee who began with us. We, have, we work with women. We have learned it is important to listen to the women, innovate with them, getting them at the center of what is important to them. It is not about us. It's about what we will assist them to do for themselves and their families. It is not about us. It's about getting every woman in the space, as the minister said, where a woman can be a soldier. It is about women transforming the way the world works for them and their families. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really humbled. Beautifully humbling and powerful, powerful words. Thank you so much. I do invite Agatha Amata. <laughs> 